I came here from the East four years ago. I don't know anything about Buck Gonzalez's outside transactions, but I can assure you, Sheriff, that I've kept the books of this ranch perfectly straight. Oh, I don't doubt you, Mr. Winslow. Well, I've been foreman here for five years. None of us boys know anything about this business. There's a car coming up the road now. It must be her. This is going to be a terrible shock to her on her wedding day. Yeah. Oh, Sheriff, awfully nice of you to take a day off to come to my wedding. <laughs> now, what's the matter with you boys? I thought you were going to greet me with some wild shooting. You're a tame bunch. Now, pardon me, Cleo, but there's a reason. It ain't going to be easy to explain it on your wedding day. You don't mean something happened to Buck? Yes, miss. I'm sorry, but it couldn't be helped. Oh. Show me where he is. I feel sorry for her. Yeah. May I offer my condolences? It's been a good deal of a shock to us all. Yeah. I made a bargain and I was going to stick to it. Oh, I don't keep souvenirs. Maybe you'd like this. What is it? It's an agreement between Buck and me. I guess it's the first time he ever agreed with anyone. Well, that's his signature. Yeah, he signed it, if that's what you mean. And the sheriff sealed it. I'm not so sure. This says that in consideration of your consenting to marry him, Buck signs over all his property to you. Yeah, but he gets shot first. You kept your part of the bargain. You did consent, didn't you? Oh, I certainly did. Twice. Hmm. Well, then I think this is a matter for the law to decide. You don't mean that I... Well, that'll help pay for my feelings. Well, Miss Borden, after due deliberation, the court has decided that all the holdings and properties of the deceased Buck Gonzalez belong to you. You've acted in good faith, and you've done your best to fulfill your bargain. Judge, wherever there's a man concerned, I always do my best. Now, as one of the richest women in our state, let me advise you to look out for crooks. <laughs> you let the crooks look out for themselves. Well, what's next on the program? Well, the next is for you to check over these. Now, you check them over. Oh, I can't do that. You see, this is my final accounting for the Gonzalez estate. And if it's satisfactory, then my work is through. What do you mean, through? Well, I mean, I've finished my job. Can you imagine this guy, Judge? <laughs> After he gets me into the big money, he wants to walk out on me. Oh, no, really. It's time for me to get back east. Say, so, listen, I'm going to pay you a salary that'll be positively indecent for you to turn down. Very kind of him. What do you say? All right, I suppose I'll have to stay and look after the cattle and the men for you. Just the cattle. I'll take care of the men. We've covered quite a few miles, Miss Cleo. Oh, I'm used to that. Only on the dance floor, it was my feet that hurt. I guess you've seen about all the ranch now, except the oil field. Oh, I was over there yesterday. Yeah? Everything suits you? Mm, especially that good-looking boss. Well, you mean Carrington, the Englishman. Oh, is that what he is? Kind of thought that body looked imported. You gave him good ride today. Yesterday, no good. Uh, nice animal. That's Cactus, the fastest horse in the West. Buck was going to race him this winter. Just a little gun shy, Miss Cleo. Ride him with a firecracker and he'd beat man of war. Oh, yeah? Hey, didn't I tell you fellas not to shoot guns in front of that horse? Be all right if they wouldn't scare him. After he knows you better, he'll follow you around like a dog. Oh, I hope he don't take a notion and jump up in my lap. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry not to bring Mr. Carrington back with me. He couldn't come. You mean he refused? Well, uh, no, not exactly that. Uh, he objected to coming while he was working on the oil wells. Oh, well, I'll remove those. The oil wells? No, the objections. <laughs> oh. I want you to pay particular attention to this. You know, I'm leaving in a few days, and you'll have to carry on without me. Was well, the company sending you now to Siberia? No, just Buenos Aires. If these gushers come in the way we hope, Gonzalo's heiress will be one of the richest women in the world. I don't suppose she'd know what to do with it. Do you know her? Seen her? 
Heard her? Impressed? Well, I'm afraid she's rather crude oil. <laughs> <laughs> Get a good chisel edge on it. Get it right out to gauge. Hey, handsome! Lady's calling you. Yes, I heard her. She wants to talk to you. Sorry, I'm too busy. He's too busy. Oh, he wants to be coaxed. Uh, uh, no. I know what I'm doing. Yeah. What do you mean by shooting at me? I don't happen to be a target, you know. Not even for somebody like you. Mm, what do you know about me? Just what I see, and that's quite sufficient. Mm, you're easily satisfied. Well, what do you want with me? Mm, nothing yet. You possess an extraordinary sense of humor. Yes, and that ain't all. Well, I'm afraid you'll have to excuse me. I'm rather busy for this sort of chit-chat. Oh, English, huh? Yes. Do you mind? No, I rather like it. Give me a room, boys. Put that 10-inch bit into the furnace. <laughs> Chit-chat. <laughs> you know, I like that guy. Well, you can hardly hope to win a man treating him that way. Oh, yeah? Say, listen, as long as he's drilling holes in my property, I want to know what it's all about. And you see that he gets over to my place tonight and brings his blueprints. All right, Miss Cleo. Check up on that guy. <laughs> 